guys, this is Toxic Fox. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna make a spooky pumpkin carving apron today. So let's just get to it. We are using the McCall's 7208 apron pattern. We're gonna make some minor adjustments to make it perfect for pumpkin carving. I've got this really fine orange corduroy, the Michael Miller Fairy Frost, which is beautiful, some heat bond, the regular tools gone ahead and pinned all my orange pieces which we're going to cut out and then also pinned all my black pieces I need four of this for all the straps and this is just going to iron on the heat and bond onto a scrap piece of the fairy frost uh, because that's what we're going to use to cut out the jack-o-lantern face but don't forget to take the instructions off before you start ironing it that's plastic it will just destroy everything Alright, and here we have the strap, so we're going to take the first strap, uh, fold it in half right sides together, and then we're going to stitch over and down. And then we're going to clip our corners here before flipping the two right side out. And once they are flipped out, you could just iron them and be done with it, but I really like the look of top stitching, plus I picked a contrasting orange thread. So I am just doing a top stitch all the way around uh, the three closed ends, <laughs> closed sides of each strap. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the top like bib section to the contrasting waistband just by stitching it straight down and then we're going to flip it over and do a top stitch down it as well just to help keep that seam in place. And then we're going to take our both of the curved edges of the bib and just do a rolled hem down the sides of those to finish them off before we start attaching the straps. Now that that's done, we're going to take these straps and stitch them on to the right side of the apron uh, just to kind of hold them in place. And once they are held in place and you've got your little threads trimmed, we're going to go ahead and do a rolled hem with that top section as well. Uh, just make sure you be aware of how your apron straps are going to lay down because you do want them going up and not down. <laughs> Thank you. 
And this is what it's gonna look like. So now it's time to add the face that we're gonna add to make it spooky. So this is my heat and bond fused fabric. I've just folded it in half and kind of drawn a general idea of the face shape that I want. And we're gonna cut that out. Uh, and then we will be peeling the paper side of the heat and bond off before ironing to the right side of the fabric to get that spooky jack-o'-lantern look. So now you don't have to do this because the heat and bond will stay in place on its own really well, but I'm gonna top stitch around my applique sections. One, cause I think it looks cute, and two, just for a little extra security because this is a display and I don't want it to fall apart or anything. It looks so cute! Let's make some pockets. So we have the pocket pieces. We're just gonna do a double fold at the top and then stitch two lines, one close to the very edge and then one along that actual like fold line to hold it down. And then we're going to do the other three sides just by folding them over and stitching like five eighths of an inch in like we want to go in not the edge and just stitch around those other three sides after folding them in And you should have something that looks like this. And now the second pocket. Once those are done, um, I did actually lose the footage, but we stitched the front of the apron skirt to the two back pieces, which are really the side pieces. And now we are just stitching the pockets on at a height that I like um, over top of the seam. So there should be one pocket on each seam line for that skirt bit. Once your pockets are on, you're going to want to grab the band pieces for the skirt front and backs, stitch them together into a long rectangle, and then you're going to just do a top stitch to uh, go down the length of it after it's folded in half, just to help hold it in place for the future. And once you have that band uh, stitch, you're just going to line it up with the bottom of your apron. 
uh, just on the right side of the fabric. You're gonna stitch them together and then fold it down and top stitch just so it stays uh, laying nice and flat. So you should now have a finished uh, top half for your apron, the bib, and a finished skirt piece. You're going to uh, line them up right sides together and gather the skirt to the width and then stitch them together like this. And now you are going to just do the same thing like you did on top, where you're going to stitch the straps to the sides and then do a rolled hem all the way down the side just to finish it off. I made this really cute apron. He's spooky. He's perfect for carving pumpkins or baking. And just having Halloween fun. See you tomorrow.